everyone welcome back to my channel today I am doing these cloud nails that are trending on Instagram um, it's springtime so I'm using pastels stay tuned to see how I did it okay I have prepped my nails off camera and I applied the first protein bond to this nail already and that was my second coat I am using Young Nails Cover Rosebud um, for my base. I am going to do long tapered square, so I believe I'm going to the number nine. Please bear with me because it was so cold in the room at the time. The acrylic was just running and would not set. So if it looks like I'm chasing the acrylic, girl, I'm chasing the acrylic. But it was because it was freezing and I just needed to get it done because I was stuck in the house. As we all know, we have been stuck in the house for about two weeks now. Um, and this video would have been about maybe a week. Um, and I just needed to get out and do my nails and produce a video for you guys so this is what I'm doing these cloud trending nails that I've been seeing on Instagram um so I'm kind of switching it up and making them pastel for like springtime and Easter's coming so if you guys want to recreate this please do so and don't mind tagging me when you do so I'm going to start off by using this rosebud acrylic color as just the base and when you Flip it to the side right here you can see that I'm not building an apex in this because I'm not completely finished I will build an apex when I'm in capping with the clear Okay, so now that we have all five nails done, we're gonna go in with a wet bead of clear acrylic because I want the colors to blend and not sit on the dry acrylic. You'll grab any pastel colors or any colors that you want, but today I'm choosing a pastel pink, purple, a blue, a mint green, and like, an orange but I don't want too much of the orange to overpower and I'm just taking these beads and I'm blending them I'm tapping one side of the brush into one color the other side into the other and I'm placing it on the nail and just letting it maneuver and blend how I think that I need it to blend go ahead and as I'm doing right now Go back in with your base color to help blend a little bit better. And don't worry about wanting to have 
each finger look exactly the same. That is not the look that I'm going for. Um, I think it looks awesome when it's not cohesive and it's like sporadic and different. So use more colors on one, use less colors on the other. Um, put the green at the top, put the purple at the bottom, um, more in the center. Do kind of however your brush and the beads is pushing you because girl, it's gonna come out fire anyway. So after I do this, of course, you're going to want to end cap it um, with clear and this is where your apex is coming into play. So this nail won't break on you. Okay, this bead that I'm placing at the tip of the nail is ensuring that my tapered square shape is going to be what and how I want it to look. Even if you put too much at the edge, at least you have some because it's better to have some and not have any at all. So placing this at the edge is always going to ensure that my shape is where it's at if it's not already there. I am speeding through this filing process one because I am a horrible recorder and I was not paying attention and half of the filing was off camera, was not placed right. And second, I am going to do a separate video on how I shape taper squares. So look out for that one. It's art time. And for the clouds, I'm going to be using Fizz. It's a white from Young Nails Mission Control Painting Gel. I'm also gonna be using my Zero Short Detail Brush from Crystal Nails. So I start off with the clouds, and I'm going to draw this line, and it's gonna indicate the bottom of the cloud. Then I'm just going to draw little humps. I'm doing like the left side of the hump is higher, and it gradually goes down. Every cloud is going to have about three humps, one large, one middle, and one tinier one. Um, you can always make these different. You can have clouds that have more than three humps. You can have clouds that have maybe only two. I don't really know what that one will look like, but what I'm saying is um, it doesn't have to be the same. You don't have to do it how I'm doing it. I'm just giving you an outline of how to do this design. So right here I'm making this, I don't even know what these kind of stars are called, um, twinkle stars maybe? Um, I just, every time I see it, it reminds me of Sailor Moon, so typically I'd be like Sailor Moon stars. But I am putting these sporadically around the nail as well, and each nail is going to be completely different. So. Um, some gonna have more stars, some gonna have less stars, um, but most of the nails, I believe all the nails are going to have at least two clouds. Then you cure it in between, and right here, I realized that I wanted my background with the pastel matte. So here I'm putting a matte top coat on, and for that first, nail that I did already with clouds, I went back, put matte on it, and then redrew the clouds because I want the clouds to be shiny on top of the matte. You'll see what I mean. I know that might have been a little bit confusing, but at the end you'll understand. And 
after you wipe with alcohol, it is now matte and you can go back to drawing the rest of your clouds. And here is the final look, guys. These are so cute. I am loving the cloud trending nails on Instagram right now. These are making my heart so full. Also, you guys are too. I truly appreciate the love and support that you guys are giving me. I hope everybody is staying safe out there. And I will catch you guys on the flip side. Bye!